so today, this morning, I am thinking about, or oh, it popped into my head, that just about believing in yourself. Um, and what does that look like? What does that even mean? You know, I, I know that a lot of it is that, you know, yes, have people around you that's going to be a support and a help to you. That's going to help to motivate you. That's going to be honest with you. That's going to, in some cases, pick you up when you've fallen. That's going to act as a reminder. All of those things, you know, definitely have that positive, you know, inner sanctum, that positive sphere around you as much as you can. But that means nothing if you don't believe in yourself. I can sit here and tell you all day long, you're great, you're wonderful, you are fantastic, you are the end all, be all, you are just the bee's knees. And if you don't believe it, it doesn't make a difference and you will move, you will continue to move forward the way you've been moving forward in negativity, in doubting yourself, and then, of course, the manifestations come um, based on what you're pumping out there, the energy that you're pumping out there, the thoughts, because the thoughts becomes actions, right? And all of that is a one big ball of energy that you're putting out there into the universe and the universe is giving all that right back to you. So how do you start to believe in yourself? We go back to looking at our past. A lot of a lot of our issues, a lot of our obstacles that we have placed for ourselves, the little mental jail, jails, because it's more than one, little mental jails that we create for ourselves, um, a lot of that stuff is rooted in our past. Um, and because we don't heal from our past, we continue manifesting that same stuff from our past because it's just embedded in us. Um, and so the manifest manifestations that are coming from that keeps reinforcing what we think, we already know what we think is the truth. In order to truly believe in yourself. And when I say that, you feel it in your bones. You are able to move past any obstacle. It's, it's you know, something, pop, yeah, no, I'm not, I, I can deal with that. And we're gonna do this, this, and this. And okay, grant, ah, okay, fine, granted, we can't go down this path that I thought we can go down, but we can go down this path. It may take a little bit longer uh, maybe a little bit more difficult, but we can go down this path. And so it's not, oh, this path is, this path is blocked. So we can't do it. We can't, we can't do the whole thing anymore because this one path is blocked. Um, that shows me you don't believe in yourself because you are allowing circumstances to get in your way. Understand that as you start Moving forward as you start manifesting, I, uh, listen, there are going to be tests and there are going to be roadblocks. It could be that, hey, that path right there, even though you can't see it, not the best path for you. The universe is giving you another option because even though it looks longer, it looks trickier, it looks messier, this path is going to get you to where you need to get to. But because you don't believe in yourself, you stop. Plan A didn't work. So the whole thing doesn't work. The whole thing is stupid. Whatever. I'm not doing it. We know. We've all been there, right?
And sometimes in trying to help your yourself believe in you, you have to, yes, heal your path, past, not your path, your past, but also have to power through sometimes and say, okay, this doesn't work out. This is not working out the way I thought it would work out. You know, something else is happening and <sighs> screw it. I'm just kind of going to, I'm going to go where the path takes me. I, you know, and you, you go, <laughs> you could go down that whole path in self doubt, but at least you're trying, at least you're willing to say, I mean, I'm going to see what happens. I don't know, but Going back to the believing in yourself, you need to figure out why you didn't, why you don't believe in yourself. So, um, I didn't believe in myself for years, for um, all of my childhood, a better part of my adulthood, right? Um, Till I started really doing the spiritual work. My mother called me stupid. Um, for she, she So she died when I was 18. She never said, I loved you. And she called me stupid for all of those years, for all 18 of those years. And then, uh, up until her dying day, she called me stupid. And I walked with that. I walked with that. I, I, and, I, and I did things to reinforce that. So the universe was giving all of that back to me to again, to reinforce it and prove to like, your, your mother was right. You are stupid because you know, you did this and it didn't work out and you know, and you know, you should have really done it. You should have done it this way and blah, blah, blah. And, and that back and forth. So I ended up Went to college, dropped out of college. This was the first go around. Um, had my daughter. I was like, you know what? I'm ready to go back to school. Actually, I happened to be at work and a coworker's like, yeah, I'm going back to get my, they were going to get their masters. And I'm like, and it just popped into my head because I had never thought about going back to school. And it just popped into my head, like maybe I should go finish the bachelor's and mm, take it from there. Long story short, I ended up getting my MBA um, in management and getting loads of certificates. So now behind my name looks like alphabet soup. And, but I needed to do that for me to prove to myself that I'm not stupid. My mother was wrong. It's, it's what I needed to do for myself. Um, and also in doing that, healing that part of me. Embracing my inner child, because I was also, and I still do shadow work, embracing my inner child to say, hey, you're not dumb. You know, you're smart. Look at all the things you've done. Look at how you've managed these situations. You know, just becoming, just because it comes naturally to you, does it mean that does it mean that you overlook it? You know, a lot of gifts that we have that come naturally to us, we overlook it because it comes naturally to us. Like, well, yeah, it's just like that's super easy because blah 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 blah. Meanwhile, someone else is like, well, I don't know how you do that because like I can't even wrap my head around that enough to even come up with a solution. You know what I mean? Like we all have our strengths, we all have our weaknesses, and that's what I needed to do in order to get out of that place, get out of that mud, get out of that tar pit that I was just, that hole I was in. Like Until next time, dear hearts, love and light. Bye.